What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Trading Wars. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we are going to discuss a little bit about swing trading with SPY, with futures and options. Also going to discuss a simple way to get into swing trades um, just by using bars. All right. So if you're ready, let's step into the war zone. So first, let's go ahead and shout some people out here. Then we'll get right into it. Uh, Gazi, STK, Trading Wars Army, JV, Caladel, Trading Wars Army, Jesse Taylor, Trading Wars Army, Cisco, Cecilia, Trading Wars Army, Dr. D. How are you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome. Jenny, Trading Wars Army, Bad Indie, Trading Wars Army, Trevor. Good to see you guys. All right. So what I like to do uh, when swing trading is I like to focus on the weekly, daily, monthly. So those are the three time frames that I... Um, I like to look for patterns and the easiest way to trade them that I found over the years is simply with outside and in, inside bars. That's pretty much it. Um, and as you know, my free indicators here, I'm going to link it in the chat. This uh, will identify those bars for you. So it'll go ahead and it will highlight the inside bars and the outside bars so that you can easily see it in your chart. So for me, the outside bars are in white and the inside bars are in yellow. So we could see here back in January, we had an outside bar, which we called out on the Twitter back on January 7th. And we had a short plan below 466, which ended up being the high of the year. And let's talk a little bit about the characteristics of those outside bars. What makes them really powerful? Um, you could see here back in January. So we had a weekly high at around 479. So you could see up here 479. And then the first week of January, we went to 479.98. So really close to that 480 level. We made a new high by 98 cents and then we started to sell off. So an outside bar, what it needs to do is either it needs to break the high and the low of the previous bar. And that in itself creates a trap, um, something that um, someone is going to be trapped. Either we broke out and we sold off or we um, we sold off and then we reversed. So that's why I like trading those. It's very powerful candles. You could just go back and test the outside bars on SPY and you'll see that they have, you know, a pretty, pretty solid win rate. All right, David, welcome to the Trading Wars Army. Let's welcome David with the TW Army SPY VIP. Also, the inside bars are really good as well because they're usually tight, small bars that you can play off of. Uh, you could see here, here, here. So I love focusing on the weekly, um, looking for those patterns. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down an example of a swing trade we were able to take this week. And then I'm going to show you um, the concept behind it. So here we go back to the daily chart. So you could see we had an outside bar on the 26th of August. So this was Friday. And I treat this just like I treat the outside bar on uh, the weekly. It's the same, the same concept here. So we had this outside bar here. And what I'm looking for is this. I'm going to draw two lines, a line at the high and a high and a line at the low like this. All right. So I'm looking for this range. And generally with these outside bars, you can see not all the time, but very similar to this one over here, right? Very. This one was very similar. We pop back up on the mid Bollinger Band as well. Um, whenever we have these big candles, um, huge, big ranges like these outside bars, and we close at the lows, generally we continue to sell off. So that was my whole game plan looking at that. Um, on the daily chart that, hey, this could be a potential for a sell-off. So I'm going to go ahead here to the Trading Wars Army now. So this is our YouTube channel. Let me just talk about this real quick. So you can join the Trading Wars Army for $3.99 for the first month, guys. So $3.99, $3.99 on YouTube. And what we do here is I post these swing trades. Every week I'm posting at least one swing trade, sometimes multiple, um, also in the Discord. But this week the focus was on SPY. For the for the army and we had that daily outside bar so i posted this on sunday short below 406 target 401 400 options 402 puts so let's discuss now how we enter the trade how we play the trade okay so the first thing is i'm going to hit the replay here and i'm going to go on to monday morning okay so monday morning so remember our line for our swing trade is we want to short below 406 which is right around here. Okay. So we want to short below 406. So on Monday, you could see we gapped down, but throughout the day, we came back and we retested. Um, we retested the, the 406 area. I'll show you right here. So we came back up there. Previous day is low. There we go. So there was our retest of the 406. So there was a lot of opportunities to enter on Monday. Um, you can also enter right at the open as well. 
Okay, so you can also enter right at the open. That's fine as well. We know our risk. We're going for a longer term play here. And then if I fast forward here, boom, we hit all of our targets in the last few days. We're at 395 right now. So we hit all of those targets for um, 401, 400, and you can leave a runner on now. Okay, so that's how I do it with options. So what I like to do is just get about a month out um, and go full risk. So meaning whatever I put into these puts, I'm willing to lose the full premium. Or another option here is getting in on futures contracts. So how do we enter on futures? Well, the way we enter on futures is um, if you notice here, guys, this is the Sunday. Um, this is the Sunday open at 18. That's six o'clock on Sunday, the futures market open. So you can get in in the futures market actually well in advance. You don't even need to wait. You can get in as soon as the market opens back at six o'clock on Sunday. So you can short right here and then you'll have your protection right above that outside bar as well. And then you can start to trail your stop loss as we go down. So, so what's the main difference here? Well, let's go back here to the hourly. So let's say you entered at the open. So this is about a 80 point drop. So 80 times 50 is, what is that guys? Four, $4,000. So that's about a $4,000 drop on each contract. And just using the daily chart again as the signal. Okay. So you can also do this for inside bars. You could see back on the 18th of August, this was a massive short over here. Same concept here. This one is about 300 points. So that's about 15 K on one contract could be a lot more. Um, but yeah, that's what I like to do. I like to keep it simple. If we go here to the monthly chart for spy as well, you'll see that we also do have a lot of um, setups on the monthly. You could see our inside bars, our holy grails. We had some outside bars up here, which ultimately led to being the high of the year. And we had an inside bar recently that did have a little pop up, but now starting to sell off. So I like to just keep it straightforward textbook. And um, with options, I love to swing those because I can go full risk, meaning I can hold it overnight and not, you know, not have to get worried about being margin called. All right. So hit me with a one if that makes sense. Okay. Hit me with a one if that makes sense. And what I'm going to do. So the other thing that I like to do with swing trading is futures um, is Fibonacci based trading. So I'm just going to give you guys a little preview of what I'm looking at going into this, this coming week. So if I take the Fibonacci. So first of all, let's start off back from the high. OK, so we'll start off back from the high um, and let's go to ES so we can draw this out together. Right. So let's just discuss how we got here and where we're going. So. The first thing we had that outside bar that we talked about. So if I take this from high to low here, you could see we came into the 618. We put in this little inverted hammer and that took us down to the 618 extension. So for the first part of the year, we had a very clean symmetrical move. 618 pullback, 618 extension. And you guys know um, that we're following me on the small account challenge that I, I got long on the 618 extension down here. And I've been riding that mm -hmm. since. All right. Um, so now just a little bit of an update. So we also had this 618 that recently traded, and this one has been a huge winner as well. So this one did well. Um, I did take the short, and for some reason, I didn't play it correctly, and I got out a little bit early. So that was a little bit unfortunate. But if I go back down now and I draw the bull leg, so this is the, bull, the bull's attempt here from low to high, we could see right here that we're coming to the 618. And this is where I'm looking for another long play, right here on the 618 to the 786. This area is where I'm looking to add again to the small account challenge, try to take another 1K to 4 5K, you know, maybe 10K this time. So I'm going to be posting the plan that I have in the Discord, but I've been very patient here. Um, initially, I was watching the 50%, and you could see we did bounce off of the 50%, and we double bottom, like we tried to hold it, but I wanted a better deal than that. I wanted a cheaper deal, and that's why I'm waiting for the 618 and the 786. So I'll be waiting for those two to come and play over the next few weeks. All right. So that's my game plan going forward. And I will post that in the discord under spy swing trades. I will be posting that when I'm looking to continue that small account challenge right there. All right. So really and truly we have a few scenarios here. So if I take this from high to low, you can see this 618 is trading and what the bears really want to do is make a new low by the end of the year. They want to continue all the way down to the 300 mark, which will line up perfectly with that 618 extension. And what the bulls are trying to do here is they are trying to buy the dip in the golden zone right here and then take this somewhere from here back up into new highs. All right. And I, I'm pretty sure back when we get up into this area, we will meet resistance again. 
So that's the bigger picture look that I'm looking at for the rest of the year. And you can capitalize on this through swing trading, just like I showed you guys right there. So just hit me with the eight if that all made sense. If that all makes sense, the swing trading strategy, how we enter, there's futures, there's options, and what my outlook is for the rest of the year. And uh, I'm, I'm neutral here. I'm willing to play both ways. Whatever comes, I'm, I'm open to it. I'm open to short. I'm open to long. I'm just going to stay neutral because things are very unpredictable. So not going to, you know, always adapt in trading. Never, never let yourself get sucked into a bias. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to recap the day trades from today. And then we will wrap up the stream. And thank you very much again for your time. So here we go, horizontal line. I'm going to draw the previous day's high and low right here. And then we're going to step right into it. So I'm going to hit the replay. All right, here we go. All right. So the first five-minute can candle came in today, guys. You could see that we are opening inside of yesterday's range. And because we're opening inside right here, I'm expecting there to be some chop. I'm expecting there to be a back and forth. And the reason why is because no one is clearly at an advantage at this open. No one is making a lot of money. The bulls are not happy with a huge gap up and the bears are not happy with a huge gap down. There's no traps on the playing field. So that's why today I expected chop. So what I like to use in a scenario like this, guys, is something that I call the previous day's range Fibonacci. So let's go ahead and draw this up here. Here's our high and our low. And then we have this zones, okay? So what I want you to pay attention to is this 382 and this 618. Okay, so the 618, so the 382 is the is the 618 of the other side, all right? So let me go ahead and walk you guys through the trades this morning. So right here, so the first play I did was I took the 618, 399.09. I took that long using the previous day's range, right? So if I go back here to SPY, so 399 right here, 399.12. So I just have to, let me just, let me just um, adjust it to the exact high. So 404.10. Right there, so we can get the exact levels, and the low was 39396 exactly. So here we go. All right, so there we go. So 39909 was my first long play of the day. So we got filled right here. We took a little bit of heat on this trade, guys, and then we filled this gap. So notice there was this little open gap here. That's another reason why I wanted to go long down here, and we pop right back up. So that first trade of the day was very, very clean. Um, you can see here, I said, send the rockets, SPY 401 takes them off the table. So SPY over 400, please lock in something from the 618 long this morning. Boom. So that was a really, really, really nice trade at the open. Um, and then from there, what happened after was actually pretty crazy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead. Actually, let me just keep that right back up here. So remember, this 382 level is the 618 of the short. So if I were to draw this up visually, it would be like this. Okay, a push down and a pull back up into the 618 and then a continuation lower. So once we got back up to this 618 over here, guys, we rolled over really, really hard. And what I really like about this trade, and I know some people caught this in the Discord, was we had an inside bar that was right on the level. So what you had here was a really clean trade. You take the break below the low, stop at the high. So you had a very tight risk to reward here. So for me, I didn't take this because I was already long down here and I had my runners with a stop loss at break even. So... I didn't want to flip it, but I know some people were patient and took this one instead, which was really, really nice. All right. So hit me with a six if that makes sense so far. So that technique is called the previous day's range Fibonacci, where we're using the range like this. We're using the range of the previous day, and we're basically using uh, Fibonacci of that range to play it. And uh, we're not getting too caught up in the, the, the itty gritty stuff. We're just looking at it on a bigger picture level. So we had um, another trade here which was our trigger trade. So our short plan was 39566. Oh, that's the one for tomorrow. So you guys got that one for free. 39681 was our short. So I'm going to go ahead here. Man, I keep clicking the wrong thing here. One second. Horizontal line, 39681. So this was our line in the sand to short today. And I'll go ahead and put this in red right there. And um, so the first attempt we came down here, guys, we touched it and we popped right back up. So that one, unfortunately, was a loser. But later in the day, we came back and we got this V trigger. So the V trigger is when we break the level like this, we, we come back up and then we break it again. And usually on that second time, that second time is where you're going to have a lot more power. And then you can see over here, finally, we got that second breach that came in later in the day. So for me, kind of like a flat day, guys, um, 
I had that first long. It went, it went okay. I tried this trigger, got stopped out, and I didn't take the V on the second way around. Um, the reason is I'm already up two days in a row, Monday and Tuesday. So me finishing flat today was was fine because I want to protect the profits from the beginning of the week. So not the not the easiest of days, a little bit choppy. You'll see in the morning, the first Fibonacci leg, low to high, did not work. We sold off. And then the second leg, if I go high to low start, these ones started working later in the day. We got that 50 rejection right there. That one took us back down. And then if I draw the full Fibonacci from high to low, this is the afternoon leg, high to low, like so. We did come back on the 50 again, put in that little inside bar and took us over. So the morning, like I said, a lot of chop, but we did pick up some steam later on and we got some fibs later on in the day. All right, so there we go. Yeah, that's my recap today. Um, not bad of a day. I was expecting it to actually close as an inside bar. We came very, very close. We broke the low um, near the end of the day. So for the majority of the day, we were inside and that's why the price action was really choppy. But I am, I am expecting... Thursday and Friday to be extremely, extremely volatile. And I'll be looking for some great opportunities, try to make a lot of money in the next two days. I'm expecting the market to really, really change in volatility. All right, guys, as always, check me out, tradingwars.com. That's the place to be. You can grab any one of my three books and you get one month for free. Come trade with us live every single day, live commentary, live fibs, triggers, everything you need. You'll get 30 days, like I said, and you'll get the indicators for life for free. One-time charge. We're doing a Labor Day sale this week, $88.60, 10% off the Golden Partnership, or you can sign up right here on the main page. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do some scans on TrendSpider, and then we're going to wrap it up. Hit me with a six if you guys enjoyed that recap. So that was a pretty quick recap on the day trades and um, just a quick recap on a swing trading. And, and I, I know I mentioned it in the past, and I just like to keep it really simple with simple patterns. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to look at the Nirvana. So no Nirvanas. Actually, I'm on the wrong one. So this is the right one. So any Nirvanas. So we have Johnson & Johnson. This is a nice one to day trade here, guys. Um, if I zoom out here, you can see that we're on the 786. So the last time we had a signal was that inside bar on the 618. That was a beautiful short. And now we're sitting on the 786 for Johnson & Johnson with a Nirvana, which is a very rare pattern. It's very similar to this one, August 10th, which was a huge winner. So be, be, be on the lookout for Johnson & Johnson. That's one of my top picks for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and see if we have any Holy Grails. I don't think there's any because I don't think the market really closed inside. Well, here we go, Starbucks, actually. So nice little holy grail on Starbucks. The last time we had one was here, a little bit of chop and then a big push up. So we'll be watching Starbucks tomorrow. And yeah, that's pretty much it. From the blue raindrop perspective, we have Kroger and I've posted my plan on Kroger in the Discord already. All right, thanks for your time, guys. Use code TWZ30 at checkout for 30% off at TrendSpider if you wanna get my indicators and my scanners. Or you can, uh, if you already have an account with TrendSpider, email hello at trendspider.com. And you can switch over to the Trading Wars affiliate. You'll get all my layouts, setups, scanners, etc. As always, we are doing a $500 giveaway once we break 25K subs. We're not too far away. So make sure you hit the sub button. Leave a comment for the giveaways we do on Sundays. Um, and again, thank you for your time. Appreciate you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow ready to rock and roll again. All right. Have a good day.